Hello, my name is Ms. Kaufman, and I'm here today to teach you about how to make a linear equation from your stock prices. So take a look at the example we have here. We've got Geiger's retirement plan, and you all are using three different stocks. The first thing you need to do is choose which stock you'd like to examine. You don't need to do all three. So I'm going to choose Nike for this example. And then what you're going to do is you're going to focus on your price for making your equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an equation that could potentially make us a prediction at the 12 week mark about what the price would potentially be. We can see right now that this stock price is declining from 167 to 149 from August 20th to September 24th. So the equation that we're going to write is we're going to use our starting value, which is August 20th and our six week mark, September 24th to write our equation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn those into coordinate points. The August 20th is going to represent day zero. That's gonna be our starting value. And then September 24th is going to represent our six week mark and we're gonna count by days. So that's gonna be 42 days after August 20th. So now I'm gonna to switch to my dot cam and we're going to write those as equations. Well, I'm sorry, as coordinate points first. So let me scoot that over. So August 20th can be written as 0, 0,167.79 because that's going to be our starting value. And September 24th is going to be 42, 149. So now I've taken those two dates and turned them into coordinate points. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use those coordinate points to calculate the slope. I know that the slope is going to be a negative value because the, the price of the stock is declining. So the slope formula, we use a little letter M to stand for slope. And then it's Y2 minus Y1 divided by x2 minus x1, meaning the subscripts there are just the two different y values and two different x values. So y2 is going to be our 149.59 minus our y1, which would be 167.79, divided by x sub 2, which is 42, minus 0. Then when we do 149.59 minus 167.79, we get negative 18.2. And 42 minus 0 is 42. And when we divide those, you're going to get negative 0 0.433333 repeating. So a nice way to write our slope would just be negative 0 0.43. So that represents that every 42 days, our stock, or every day, it's losing about 43 cents. So it's declining by 43 cents in between those two, two dates. So now we're going to use this slope. This is the slope. We're going to use that slope to write an equation. Now this point here represents our starting value or our y-intercept. So we could go straight to our equation, a slope-intercept form of an equation from this point. But I want to show you how you could do it, how you could do it um, using point-slope, and you could use this equation to get the same value. Um, I'm going to show using this one, uh, using the zero, but you could do this process using either coordinate point. It does not matter which coordinate point you choose. It will work either way. You'll get the same equation. So point slope form looks like this. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. And that Y1 and X1 come from your point. So again, our point was 0, 16779. So then this is our x sub 1, and this is our y sub 1. So now our equation is y minus 167.79 
our m is what we just calculated from above, negative 0 0.43 times x minus x sub 1. x minus your x sub 1 is 0. Now we're going to distribute our slope. So we're going to have y minus 167.79 equals negative 0.43x minus 0. And then finally, we're going to isolate the y by adding 167.79. And as I stated before, we could have already gone to this equation by knowing that this coordinate point represents a y-intercept. So here's our slope, and here's our y-intercept. which matches our coordinate points. So this was more of just proof that we um, got the correct y-intercept and the correct slope. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this information and we're going to graph it on uh, desmos.com. So go back to your internet, open another tab, and go to desmos.com. It's called desmos.com. Say graphing calculator. And then here on the left, we're going to enter in our coordinate points 0, 167.79. And then click down below. We can put our next one in 42, 149.59. Then finally, in the third one, put your equation y equals negative 0.43x plus 167.79. Now I can't see anything on my graph right now, so what we need to do is we need to zoom out, or just click out, or you can use this zoom out option here, until you can see your model. Oh, there it is. So drag it over, and we're only interested in the positive coordinates here, so we can zoom it in so that that zero zero zeros in the bottom left hand corner. So now here's our first coordinate point, 0, 016779. Our second coordinate point, 42, 149.59. And then this green line represents our model, our linear equation. It's declining over time. So now we can add labels to this. So this label would have been August 20th. And this label would be September 24th. Now it popped it onto my graph. Also, I can label the x and y axis up in the top right corner here where it says graph settings with the wrench. Click the wrench and you can add a label to the x axis, which represented days, and our y axis represented the price. For now, you can take a screenshot of this or you can save it by logging in with your Google account. You can save this graph. You're going to need this for your portfolio. So save this and use it in your portfolio. And then finally, we're going to come back. I'm going to come back to my dot cam here. And we're going to use this equation to make a prediction for our 12-week mark. So 12 weeks past, 12 weeks is 84 days. So we're going to plug 84 in for x. So then in this spot for x, we're going to put 84. So y equals negative 0 0.43 times 84 plus 167.79. And when we calculate that, negative 0 0.43 times 84 is negative 36.12 plus 167.79 plus 16779 is approximately, or it is, 131.67. So I predict, this is the statement we would make, I predict that this stock will be valued at $131.67 at the 12-week mark of this stock.
Thank you.